a fire smoothie king employee was arrested for allegedly kidnapping her manager threatened to throw her into traffic and stealing from both her and the store hey guys i'm lady t and welcome back to the channel keisha lynette christmas was charged with aggravated kidnapping robbery and retaliation or obstruction police said in court documents that the manager at her restaurant fired her the complainant said that she has several issues with the defendant not showing up for work and coming to work late authorities wrote in a december the 22nd complaint the complainant said that after several write-ups she decided to terminate the defendant's employment on monday december the 12th 2022 a week after her charge, authorities said that she was still at large. Prosecutors moved to revoke her bond in an unrelated criminal case on Tuesday. According to authorities, the manager said that Christmas did not pick up the phone, so she left a message. That was on December the 12th. The next day, the manager briefly left the restaurant for another smoothie cane to get a cord for a faulty restrictor. Meanwhile, Christmas arrived at their location with her 15-year-old daughter to pick up the check. Officer said, the employee working the counter told her that she was fired. Christmas allegedly got mad, started yelling, went behind the counter, and went into the register. The manager returned, according to the cops. She said that Christmas demanded her final paycheck. The manager got it. The complainant stated suddenly the defendant grabbed her by her neck and slammed her against the wall three times, police wrote. The complainant stated that the defendant slapped her in the face several times, which caused her pain. The complainant said that the defendant was choking her to a point where she could not breathe and started gasping for air. The 15-year-old daughter screamed for her mother to let the manager go, according to the affidavit. The complainant said that the defendant kept yelling and screaming, but the only thing that she understood was, you are not going to ruin my Christmas, police wrote. Christmas allegedly demanded money from the manager and walk her across Richmond Avenue for a Wells Fargo bank. The daughter followed behind. The complainant stated that the defendant told her if she tried to run, she would throw her into the ongoing traffic, police wrote. Officers described Christmas as being as inch taller and 84 pounds heavier than the victim. While commandeering the manager's phone, Christmas demanded the manager withdraw $200, and the manager, afraid for her life, complied, according to the affidavit. Christmas threw back the phone and the manager ran back to the smoothie king, locked herself in the bathroom to call the cops. The manager said that Christmas later texted her, including the victim's home address. Everyone will know you, Christmas allegedly wrote. See you tomorrow morning. The manager said that she sustained a bruise into her neck from when Christmas grabbed her. Police noted that a picture showed a scratch on her right side of her neck. Surveillance footage showed that Christmas was taking photos of the manager's cars that she removed from the victim's purse, officers wrote. The defendant is also seen going through the safe in the office, police wrote. Moments before the defendant's assaults to the complainant, the defendant turned off the security camera monitor. However, the cameras were still recording. Footage showed her putting her hands on the manager's neck and pinning her to the wall and pushing her against the wall three times, police said. She then apparently slapped the manager. At this time, the defendant's daughter and witness entered the office, police wrote. The defendant continued to scream at the complainant while her daughter watched in shock. Now, according to the officers, the manager said that Christmas stole $7 from her purse, $34 from the store safe, and $40 from the register. In identifying Christmas as a suspect, police noted a mugshot from a previous arrest. Records show that she was charged in June with assault of a family or household member under a previous conviction. The alleged victim in this case was someone with whom she was dating, documents said. Christmas grabbed this person, authorities said. Texas authorities note a March 2022 conviction in Minnesota for domestic assault. The victim in that case was a member of Christmas family, Authority said. All right, guys, I want to hear your thoughts on this story. So let's continue the conversation in the comment section. And as always, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you never miss an upload. And thanks for watching.